Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to book loads on DAT Trucker's Edge Pro version. And if you like this sort of video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell. That way you will get a notification when I put out another video like this. I've got another one. Uh, I'm going to go into the strategics of what I do to keep my truck in a hot market. Uh, if you keep your truck in hot markets and you let spend less time sitting, uh, at the end of the week, it's just more money. It just makes sense. So let's go ahead and dive right on in this. We're going to see exactly what's in the dab board. Okay, guys, in this right here, I'm going to just keep it short and sweet. You get a couple of ads right here. Uh, it's just usually trends, latest markets, what's going on with the industry uh, as far as freight with uh, dealing with freight. Uh, the national load counts. If you're looking at this, you want to know how to understand it. I'm just giving this example for van freight. You can set it for whatever you like, but van freight, today's 442 p.m. it is a sunday so these numbers in the in the load board will be a little flawed um you get the better numbers monday through friday but we're going to use well not alaska because they don't have any we're going to use alabama alabama is showing 19 headed in whereas eight needed to come out and the way i look at that i look at it as this is trucks trucks are going in and they only need eight to come out so that means there's 19 trucks going in and only eight so that's a bad offset you want to look for these offsets where it's little number here like Connecticut versus that coming out. So, and these numbers are a lot different during the week. This is a Sunday again, but with this, you can search trucks. If you're in an area and you want to know how many trucks in the market, it's a valuable tool. And if you and if you kind of want to be lazy and not search the load board and you and you prefer agents calling you, this tool right here is going to be handy. It's called truck posting. You know, you can just go in here and create a new post. Post your truck wherever you're at. That way, people call you. Agents and brokers will call you. I don't particularly like this because I've done it one time and it seemed like my phone rang off the hook. But it seemed like I had a car salesman on the other end. It seemed like everybody that was calling me was just uh, fluff and hype, trying to sell me on load. And I don't really like that. So I prefer to do it myself and do it this old fashioned way. And the old fashioned way is, let's see, let's choose Atlanta and we're gonna show what it is. That you can also choose your deadhead. I like a 120 mile radius because it roughly gives you two, two and a half hours to get there unless you're in a big city, uh, Atlanta, LA, places like that, then you're gonna need a little more time. <laughs> uh, destination, if you've got a particular destination you wanna go to or a particular lane that you run, this is gonna be handy to you. And let's show an example here. Let's say you like, you're going home and you're going to Tampa and you don't, you want the less amount of deadhead as, as possible. Let's check out 25 deadhead in Tampa, uh, general freight, and we'll get to this in a second, but let's just say, I've already got the date set for Monday through the week. So here's a couple of loads. Coyote's got one from Dalton, Georgia uh, that's going down there. Uh, that's pretty handy. That's pretty handy. So that's the destination stuff. Let's get back to this and clear that out. Uh, let's say you don't use van freight. Let's say you got other, something else. Uh, let's go into specific, then go into van freight. And here's a list of everything. Auto carrier, B train, Conestoga, container, 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 refrigerated, double drop, land all, dump trailer, flatbed, all the different flatbeds. And, uh, whoa, 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 I've just seen something. Where'd it go? Hazmat. No, no, no. Hot shot. I knew I seen something in there. I get a lot of people asking me, hey, can I get hot shot freight on DAT? Absolutely, yes. Right here it is. Let's see. Tarps, tarps with teams, over the dimensions, hopper bottoms, insulated, RGNs, moving van, pneumatic, power only. Here's another very powerful one. A lot of people always ask on other, on the, other comments of other videos uh hey can can i do power only with dat yes absolutely you can do power only with dat uh let's see reefer air ride double hazmat i mean whatever you're pulling chances are they've got it van air ride kind of stoga hot shot van intermodal lift gates logistics van triple vented Van with curtain, van with team, van with blanket wraps. <laughs> Whatever you got, they've got. Let's see. Oh, man. I go back to my van. I don't want to mess my stuff up. I'll just keep mine on van standard. Standard. Van standard. Where you at? And down here, if you are a hot shot or you're looking for partial loads and you've got 
25 foot you can work with put your dimensions in here if you've got 10,000 pounds weight and that's what you've got to work with whether you're that's all you can carry in your hot shot power only whatever or you're dealing with partial put your dimensions in there and you can also search it here full load or partial load and hours look back uh let's see the date and the time and i set this up for to, not today but tomorrow because right now it's sunday no freight on sunday so i mean there is but not really um let's see let's dive into it and then we'll go on and show you what this entails 685 loads in a 120 mile radius destination anywhere van freight both full and partial and these are the pickup dates now you can refresh this uh, convert to post you can set an alarm uh, save to your favorites I don't really currently save anything for favorites because I'm just usually just going after spot freight but one thing I do use a lot is this right there you can sort the loads however you want you can age uh, pick up origin deadhead origin destination deadhead destination trip miles truck type length weight partial full factor and credit score days to pay company this is a handy one and let's see sort from order a to z or z to a this has come in handy because there's been times i've been somewhere uh let's just say los angeles and they've had 2,000 loads on the board and i'm trying to look at a company a specific broker and that was xpo and instead of scrolling all the way through all those loads i just done this and hit refresh and boom put you down right here z y x uh put me right down here with the xbo loads oh 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 messed up there so that's a good one another good one i like is this right here is the offer rate oh wait 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 there's a book it now tab i hadn't looked into this i don't know exactly how that works um uh, but i kind of figure you know you set yourself up where you book it uh for whatever rate they're trying to push it for and you ain't got to call and talk to nobody i don't like this i'd rather call and talk to somebody let's say for example this load right here clear that out they're trying to move this load for 800 dollars. but you see clearly right here the 15 day average is a thousand so why would you just initially book it for 800 no i'd rather call them and talk to them But this is really handy. I like to use this a lot. And you can set the offer rate for the brokers. Uh, smaller first, first, largest first. I do with the largest first. That way, you know, who don't like money? Show me the loads that's got the money. So Kennesaw's got, Kennesaw has one going to Sumner. Landstar's got that for $5,000. And this is their offer. That's the broker offer. That's not another driver. That's what the broker is trying to move this load for. So if you call them, they're not going to go under 5,000, but you can see here with the 15 day average that you get with the Trucker's Edge Pro version, uh, that load's been going for 211 a mile or 5,600. And that's a, that's just a middle of the ballpark area. There's a low side to that. That's the, that's the average. And there's a high side to that. So let's, let's say there's $800 difference. So the high side be 6,000, the median is 5,600 and the low is 5,200. So even at that model, 5,000 is well under value. So I'd still call them up and try to get that for six to seven or possibly even more if that's what you want to run for. But it's just a cool little tool. Let's check out another one that's not Convoy. Let's check out, Coyote's got one for 4,500. And you can see right here, they're, they're actually posting this higher than the 15 day average. So, you know, it goes hand in hand. It lets you know, uh, some of them's got some good rates on it. Some of them don't, you know, it's up to you to, to search, search them out. Another cool tool I want to, I wouldn't say cool tool. Uh, it's just something that happens. There's a lot of cities I go to and I don't know how to spell the name. So Minneapolis, I know how to spell Minneapolis now because I've been running there so, long, so often <laughs> over the last five years. So if you don't know how to spell a name, you just say mini, you just try to spell it out. Bam, it auto fills. And let's just see what they got, just, just for shits and giggles here. So, 393, glad I did that. 393, this is the exact loads within that 120 mile radius. A lot of people ask me on my other videos, they say, you know, what's this mean? What's that mean? Well, here's one of the examples. When it says 393 exact, that means it's a exact in that 120 mile radius. So 150, 160, 220, there's a lot of freight up there 
but in a 120 mile radius, there's only 393. So hope that helps. All right, guys, if you like this style video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed. I put videos out like this on the regular, all things trucking. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I've got another video planned. I'm going to do it. I'm going to show how I get strategic and find out what I'm going to do before I actually do it, before I leave the house. Uh, just my little strategic approach to keeping my truck in a hot market. And as I, as I said earlier, if you can keep your truck in a hot market, spend less time sitting, less time hauling cheap freight you're going to put more money in your pocket at the end of the table all right guys if it don't make sense it don't make dollars but if it don't make dollars why are you doing it for see you in the next video see you bye